simple introduction. Okay, yeah. Hi, this is Brian Oxley from the Hideaway Farm. We're going to hear from Chance Martin, the voice of the devotional you're going to hear uh, soon. Chance? Yeah, you know, it's sure a blessing to be here on a Sunday morning, uh, friends. And as the years have gone by, and uh, uh, this all began when Johnny Cash used to read the Bible to me when I was on tour with him. You know, we might be in Las Vegas, he'd call and say, Chance, you want to come up to the room and I'll read the Bible to you? Of course I do, John. And uh, he later recorded the entire Bible. And I got sick once, and uh, I think that was uh, several years ago, and almost died, but then I asked for him to bring me John's Bible readings. So I listened to the, the entire thing, and when I got out and went home, I uh, was just like in my home rehab, you know, and I'd, uh, I would have decided one day that uh, I think it would help me repair myself if I was in touch with the good Lord. So that's when I decided to do these three-minute devotionals uh, from the things that I've learned. And uh, we're going to start this off on this Sunday morning. On the very first one, there'll be one every Sunday, and this one is called Guilt, which I'm guilty of, and you are. So enjoy this short devotional, and I'll see you next Sunday with a, another one. Thank you. The devotional, the promises from God's word, guilt, 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. But if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from every wrong. In Isaiah chapter 55, verse 7, let the people turn from their wicked deeds. Let them banish from their minds the very thought of doing wrong. Let them turn to the Lord that he may have mercy on them. Yes, turn to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. In 2 Chronicles, chapter 30, verse 9. For if you return to the Lord, your relatives and your children will be treated mercifully by their captors, and they will be able to return to this land. For the Lord your God is gracious and merciful. If you return to him, he will not continue to turn his face from you. In the book of Psalms, chapter 103, verse 12. He has removed our rebellious acts as far away from us as the east is from the west. 1 John 3.20 Even if our hearts condemn us, for God is greater than our hearts, and he knows everything. Hebrews 8.12 And I will forgive their wrongdoings, and I will never again remember their sin. In 2 Corinthians 5.17 what this means is that those who become Christians become new persons. They are not the same anymore, for the old life is gone and the new life has begun. In Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 34. And they will not need to teach their neighbors, nor will they need to teach their families, saying, You should know the Lord, for everyone from the least to the greatest will already know me, says the Lord, and I will forgive their wickedness and will never again remember their sin. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 8. I will cleanse away their sins against me and I will forgive all their sins of rebellion. In 1 John chapter 2, verse 12. I am writing to you, my dear children, because your sins have been forgiven because of Jesus. In Isaiah chapter 43, verse 25, I, yes, I alone am the one who blots out your sins for my own sake and will never think of them again. In 1 John 
chapter 1, verse 7. But if we are living in the light of God's presence, just as Christ is, then we have fellowship with each other, and the blood of Jesus, his Son, cleanses us from every sin. Pray. Pray and read the red today.